Whenever this happens, it screams for a sports team. Some things also happen to a cheering fan's body. Their stress level goes up, um, their emotions peak, uh, their blood pressure and heart rate go up. It's known as fanxiety, and as Memorial Hermann Hospital cardiologist Dr. Majid Bassett tells us, root, root, rooting for a sports team. Here we go. Could give you much more than a sore throat if you have undiagnosed heart disease, including a blockage. As the blood pressure goes up, the flow of blood across that blockage increases exponentially, and then that can cause the, 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 the blockage, that cholesterol plaque, to rip open and, and cause that stroke or heart attack. I haven't had that yet. Sports fan Melissa Hamrick has been known to turn up the volume on her screams when her team is on the tube. You can ask my husband. Sometimes he has to leave the room. Okay. Do you think you cheer that hard? No, definitely not. I don't go that insane with it. No, no. So how far far? It's hard to like watch the games itself. Like it's so stressful, but not like that. When you're cheering on the home team, if you start getting too excited, pay close attention if you suffer these symptoms. Shortness of breath, chest tightness, like some heaviness on your chest, palpitations, dizziness. All those things are warning signs that something bad could be happening inside of you. With that in mind, Nasser plans to celebrate a little softer. <laughs> 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 Who knew you needed to be in shape to watch the game? But Dr. Bassett says only a small number of fans go from cheering to trouble experiencing a medical emergency. So here are the doctor's orders. You know, getting together with your friends and family and, and rooting for your team is a great way to have enjoyment in your life. But just be careful. Go Strohs! Woo!